Okay, so I decided to make this real quick little tutorial thing about how to convert Photoshop brushes to Paint Tool Side 2. And uh, it's not very hard, it's just a bit of a process. And I have a few methods on how to do it in a simple way or for a number of files. Uh, of course, you need to have a Photoshop brush file, which is um, a .abr file, and you'll need a way to convert that to an image that you can use. Uh, I used ABR Mate, which is very simple, but the one that converts it as a BMP did not seem to work for me, which was ABR Viewer. You can try it, of course, and this will take away the step of converting it from a PNG to a BMP file. Um, so when you open your brush set, you will uh, see all the thumbnails, and then you will click Export All Open Brushes to PNGs uh, to your whatever destination folder you have, and um, once this is downloading, of course, uh, and you will receive all of these as a PNG file. Uh, the problem is, is that when this is converted as a PNG file, you will need to make it into a BMP. But you can't simply save it as a BMP, and you can't simply invert the uh, PNG image and save it as a BMP because you'll have a white background. So you need to take your uh, your PNG files, which look like uh, look like this. They are all black, but they have a transparent background. You'll have to go into Photoshop. Um, and figure out uh, what to do in converting, which I will explain, uh, because it's a bit of a process with the PNGs having extra steps. So you open your file, uh, whatever PNG file, uh, for an example. If you just have one PNG file, this will not be very difficult. You just gotta add a black background, and then Control i on the layer to uh, invert it, and then you save as BMP. And if you have one file, that's all you gotta do. But if you don't have just one file and you have multiple, you'll need to use an action. Um, or I suggest using actions a lot because this will make the process far easier. Um, to record an action, um, let's say we want to do all that stuff at once. We need to add a black background, invert the PNG layer, and then also turn it to grayscale because Paint Tool Side 2 will not read files if they aren't in grayscale mode. So we want to do all that stuff. Uh, we make an action, uh, just call a new action, and it starts recording what we're going to do. So I will first do Control i to invert, and then I will make a black layer, send it behind, and then I will also go up to Mode and then Grayscale, and then Merge the images, and then that's our action. And so if we do all these things, so if we have our image and we press Play, it'll do all that stuff for us immediately. So now we can apply this to a whole batch of files. Um, we go up to uh, we go up to image processing and scripts, and this is a little bit confusing because it may seem like I'm adding more steps. And sadly, this is the only method I could figure out. But find your source folder with all your PNGs, um, and then find your destination folder wherever that's going to be. And then uncheck save as JPEG, go to save as PSD, and then run action, and then go and find your action. Uh, once you hit run, it will start converting all of the files that you have in your source folder that you want to convert to inverted and grayscale. So Photoshop will do that, and then once it's done, uh, you may notice, you may get an error saying that not all of your files were converted, and sadly I don't really know why that is. I don't know why it skips over some files, um, I just can't seem to figure out why myself. But once you have all those converted, they're now all PSD files, and you still need them to be BMP files. So go back to Image Processor, find your new PSD files, and then your new source, uh, or your new, your new destination where you want them to go. And then check Save as JPEG. Make sure it's on 10. And make sure run action is unchecked because you don't need to do anything to the images. And then click run again. Uh, you will now get a new batch of files that are all JPEGs. And they should look um, as they should, which is inverted. Uh, yeah, so they should look like this. All converted and inverted. And uh, now you need to make them BMP files, bitmaps. Uh, and we will be using a few more programs for this. Uh, I have one called Bulk Image Converter, which uh, I will link below too. So you must go find your source folder, of course, um, wherever that is for you. 
Um, and then, uh, because they are JPEGs, make sure to start with JPEG here, and then BMP as file type. You can have it delete the original files or not, it'll just create, um, new files in your original folder, and then you click start, and it will convert all of those JPEGs into bitmaps. It will hold all the same data as it being grayscale, uh, and we are now almost done. We just have one more thing to do, which is uh, creating the any files for uh, Paint Tool Side 2 scatter brushes. Um, of course, if this isn't a scatter brush, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can just put it into your SystemX data folder. Um, if you go down to your documents and you find SystemX and then Sci V2, um, and then you go into brush texture, you can just throw the file right in here with all the other bitmaps if all you need is a bitmap file. But if you're doing a scatter brush, uh, which is what I was doing, you will need an any file, and uh, I suggest searching for the water blur any file uh, and just copying it. Um, because uh, that's just the like most basic one, and the any files are affected by how you change the file in Paint Tool Side 2, so all files will be unique if you end up messing with the settings. Um, so we have Water Blur here, and let's go uh, put that in here. So um, so we have our, some of our files, some of our uh, bitmaps, and basically your any file just needs to match the name of your brush, whatever your brush name is. Uh, just copy it onto your any file and press enter, and that's all you need. Of course, if you have multiple of these, uh, it will take a long time, and there are some ways to deal with this, uh, and I'll uh, give you an example of one way that I did this. So, I have a ton of copies for whatever brush files I need, uh, and now I need to rename all of these easily so that they match my other uh, BMP files. So, uh, I used a program called... Um, bulk rename utility, and and uh, and so I will put all these innies into its own folder just so they don't get all weird, and copy the destination, um, and here are all my files. So uh, let's say this first part here is what I want all of them to be called, and then after that I need a number. On this program, um, I usually go to name. And I just click remove. Oh yes, I have to select all these. Um, so I select all these. And now all the titles were removed from it. Uh, the part that I want to keep on every single file, I will paste in here. And because these are all numbered, uh, I need to easily insert numbers. So, um, so I'll make this a suffix. And that will go at the end. And then I have it start at one and go up in ones, and now it's added to every single one. So if I preview that, it'll show me what it looks like, and then I hit rename. Um, and now all of my files have been renamed to fit all of those brushes. And if I drag them into Paint Tool Side 2, into its um, documents folder, um, then uh, it will all fit properly and it'll work within the program. There are a few things to keep in mind uh, while you are doing this, which is that um, all of the bitmap files, the size of the canvas for the, the brushes, cannot exceed uh, 1,000 pixels. Like, it must, it must be below 1,000 pixels. So if you um, are having errors with the brushes in the program, you should go and check um, your, your canvas files and uh, make sure they are not over, the image size Make sure they are not over 1,000. And if they are, you'll have to make them smaller, which I didn't have that problem too much with my brushes, but um, you can also create an action to do that as well. I have um, one that uh, decreases the height or the width by uh, to 1,000. Um, if I just record an action and then go to image size and make it 1,000, it will do that for me. So Photoshop actions will probably be your best friend in trying to do this with a bulk amount of brushes. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the steps I took to try and convert a ton of brushes to Paint Tool Side 2. Uh, it took a long time because I did like 200 of them. And I hope this answers any questions anyone might have about how to convert brushes for Paint Tool Side 2. Uh, if anyone has questions, you can ask me 
below and I can try and help, but I cannot say I'm an expert. I just hope that uh, my process of figuring this out might help other people.